What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr Woz and in today's video I'm going to help you all organise your bank properly and I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks in order to make your bank look nice and organised and just make banking so much faster and easier. If you guys are new to this channel then please hit that subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications for when I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so before I show you my bank, there's going to be a few tips and tricks in order to get your bank looking nice. So first of all, we've got the wise old man, incinerator, placeholders and tabs. Okay, so I'm now going to show you my bank. Now, this is the main bank tab and as you can see, it's very, very minimal. It's not full up with a load of junk. But this tab don't matter too much, but it is nice to organise. So you can see I've mainly got my cash stack at the start, then you've got your collection log and a few other bits and pieces. Got a little farming tab going there. Got me void, full graceful, and a few little bits and pieces. Like I said, this tab don't matter too much, but it is nice to sort out. So um, what I'm going to do now is show you my tabs, and then afterwards I'm going to show you the points I made earlier and how to use them, etc. So the first main tab is the pot tab, which is my favourite. As you can see, it's very well organised. And all I've done is made um, these pots into four doses, three doses, two doses and one doses. It is nice to have your pots in a certain order. So that you've got your Sara brews and restores. So obviously, you need them together to make them work. Next to my restores, I've got my prayer pots. Because obviously, restores and prayer pots are pretty much the same. Uh, extended antifires, super extended antifires. As you can see, they're all grouped together. Anti-dough, super anti-poison, they're all together, so it just makes life a lot easier. Anti-venom, anti-venom plus, you can see where I'm going with this. So this tab is probably the easiest to sort out. Now, you can have these in any order you want. So like I've got my pot tab, my food, melee, range, mage. But you can swap them around, and all you've got to do is drag. So if you want this as your first tab, you just drag this to your first one and let go and you've and you've pretty much done that so I'll just show you if you want that first tab there you go and you can just switch it's not a problem so the next tab will be my food tab obviously this is quite a minimal tab because you don't need to have too much here so what I've done is had my cooked food and below my raw food and if you haven't noticed I've done this in a way where it's from the highest healing food to the lowest, so I've got anglerfish, manta rays, sharks, ground worms, monkfish, etc. So that's my food tab. Now, the next one is my favourite tab, my mealy tab. Now, this might be a little bit confusing, but I'm going to show you how I did this. Now, first row, I've put me helms in a certain order, so I've got my face guard, I've got my slayer helms in dwarven helmet, and I've got my capes as well, so I've done like best till last, uh, best till like the worst shall we say there's only one extra cape amulet so i've done best to worst for that one so you've got your tortures number one then you've got salve amulet dragon bone etc the weapon tab done the same so i've got me two spec weapons got the lance whip bludgeoned and i've got me bandos gear there then we've got the justica and you've got proselyte full guffins here which you're going to need at some point if you're doing slayer or just killing things in general and we've got my sort of shield, so we've got the best, which is the uh, Vernic Defender, and then we've got Dragonfire Shield, and the V Shield, which you need to kill the Basilisks. Got me boots, uh, the Blessing, Amulet, and Gloves. So if you want to copy what I've done here, no pr no problem, go for it. If you want to pause the video, not a problem. And that's my melee tab. So the next one is going to be ranged. Now you're going to see a little um, repeat repetitive stuff here, so you've got the Helm, Cape, uh, amulet as you can see on the other one, helm, cape, amulet. It's nice to have things in a certain order so it just makes life a lot easier when you're banking. And obviously the weapons, we've got dragon hunter crossbow, then we've got blow pipe underneath, we've got the cannon, a few bolts and arrows here which we're going to need. So obviously need these for the um, blow pipe, these for the dragon hunter, etc. That if you're doing clues or if you want to do DKs. So we've got the full armor deal here. Um, we've got the Shazen armor if you need to kill shamans. Got a couple of shields here for the range. So we've got the buckler and the crystal shield. Obviously we've got the boots, ring and... Yeah, two rings. I thought there was one ring. And we've got the Volcaf head if you want to make another assembler. So that is the range tab. 
Next one is the maze tab. As you can see on the right hand side I've got all my runes. Now it's nice to stack up on your runes. It saves you going to the GE every 5 minutes to buy some more. So make sure you buy quite a few of everything. Um, as you can see I'm running low already but I did have quite a few at the start. Now as you can see here I've only got a small uh, maze set. Um, I don't like to have, for example I've got Ancestor, I don't want to have Ariams or you know an, uh, just a load of other mage sets that I don't really need. So this is my main mage tab. So we've got the full Ancestral. Now it looks like this, um, the reason being if I want to take it out like, like so it's just going to be a lot easier to put on. Saves you going all the hats here or the bottoms are over here you know so it just makes life a lot easier. Got the room pouch there, you've got the, the pouches for room crafting because um, they sort of go with the rune tab. Um, got a couple of teleports, you've got the scroll book, uh, Corridus memoirs and the Ecto file and that's pretty much it so if you want to copy this as well not a problem. Now these extra two tabs what I'm going to show you is just what I've done, obviously you can change them, you can get rid of them, it's entirely up to you if you want to add them as well. This is my pecan tab, obviously there's nothing special but occasionally I do go pecan with a few of my friends so it saves me just going to the search bar, oh, I need a glory, or oh, I need climbing boots or whatever, it's all here. So I've got a little range set going here, got a nice little maze set and like a few melee items. And other items, so you've got the bracelet if you want to go revs, you've got the teleports, burning amulet, looting bag, etc. So, like I said, a very simple tab to do as well. Now, next tab is my diary tab. Now, you don't have to have this, but I like to because it's, it is handy at times if you're doing clues or farm run, etc. Um, I've got the prospector outfit as well, for obvious reasons, it's for mining. And we've got the Kramsha gloves there. And yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory really, so this is just my diary tab. I've got two extra spaces, um, one of them is uh, for my loot tab, so if you're doing Slayer for a week or two and you want to keep your loot tracks, um, sorry, your loot's in a certain tab, you can make one there, and at the end of the week if you want to check what you've made, you can just click on your loot tab and yeah, you can sell it or you can keep it in there, etc. Um, so like I said, what I've done here with all the tabs, you can sort out in any way you want. I've just done it just in a nice order, so it's just easier for me. So like I said, I've got my pot tab, my food tab, then melee, ranged, magic, etc. I think this is the best way of doing it, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, so I'm going to go through all the points I made earlier, and I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's just going to make your life a lot easier when you're doing your bank. So, number one was the wise old man. So if you don't know how to get there, you want to teleport, um, you can use your glory to drain all village, but I'm going to use my house. Um, where are we going? Drain all village. So once you're here, you just want to go west and then to this house here, open the door and you talk to the wise old man. Now I've already done this, so obviously you're not going to see anything, but for those who haven't done it you'll see a lot of junk in there so once you spoke to him you want to click on something else then you want to click on the second option which is could you check my items for junk and now as you can like I said I've cleared this all already now if you haven't done this before you're gonna have a lot of junk so mainly quest items um, you're gonna have three members and all make sure it's on all um, once you're here you want to click on remove all and if there's a bit more dialogue just follow the dialogue and it will all disappear and that is pretty much how it clears most of your bank um, because like I said when I had uh, my bank before I sorted it out as you can see it's 816 like maximum amount of items and mine was pretty much full so doing this got rid of so much and it was a really big help okay the next tip is going to be the incinerator now this is on the bottom left of my bank now this is a lifesaver. Um, for example, so say if you want to note things that you want to drop. So say if I've got like I've got 11 seed dibbers, you want to note them, and as you can see, you can just easily drop them all in one go. But with certain items um, that are like untradeable, or certain items you actually can't drop noted. Um, I'll give you an example. You've got the light orbs. 
that you can't note and drop all at once. You have to sort of take them out and you have to singly drop them. Or you've got the volcanic sulfur, whatever it's called, that you need for the Lovikenji uh, favour. You can't note that and drop it, you have to do it manually. And with this incinerator, all you've got to do, uh, maybe do an example on one of the items. Uh, I'm going to do it with the spirit sapling, it's not a problem, I've already got some. So you want to drag into your incinerator, don't worry if your, your tab scrolls up, but you drag it into the incinerator and it will say what you've put in there and it says are you sure you want to destroy all of them actually I'm not going to destroy it because I need it and all you've got to do is click on destroy and it disappears it's simple as that and like I said it's mainly for the stuff that's untradeable and stuff that you can't note to drop you just drag it in there and this is just a lifesaver now the third one is placeholders now I think this is the number one most important thing to keep your bank looking perfect at all times now, I'm going to just go on my melee tab just to show you. Now, as you can see how I've organised this, if I didn't have a placeholder, I would, hate, I would have to take one thing out, and when the bank's closed, like the cape will go to the first slot, if that makes sense. But having a placeholder, all you've got to do is click on it, and it, as you can see, it's off now. Just click on it, and when you've took a few items out, as you can see, it says zero, but it's kept in that same place. So say if you was doing your task, you can wear it, go back in your bank, and as you can see, it's still there, you can just deposit it all, and there you go, it's in the exact same spot where you left it. It's just so, so handy, and it's just a lifesaver. Okay, so this is what I mentioned earlier, and that's tabs. So what I mean by this is you can have your tabs in a certain order. So like I said, I've got my potion tab, my food, melee, ranged, magic. Um, I've got these in a certain order for obvious reasons. It just makes life a lot easier. So yeah, like I showed you earlier when I was showing my bank, having these sort of tabs in a certain order just makes life a lot easier. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is this rearrange mode. Now you've got swap and insert. Now the reason why there's a big difference between these two is inserting things can move your items all over the place so I'm going to do it just for the purpose of this video so say if I went to move my shield over to where my capes are with insert mode I'll just show you what happens as you can see everything just got a bit messed up so look my Justica's moved over the capes moved over over let me just move this back but with swap if I do the same thing only the two items that you swapped move you see so look insert see what I mean see how messed up it gets so yeah having swap just makes life so much easier see what I mean see what happens when you click on insert so yeah have it on swap and it will just make your life a lot easier and it will make your rage so much less because <laughs> when I was doing this with insert it just took me forever like, like I said, as simple as a rain, uh, potion tab, having it on the insert is just so aids. And just like I said, having it on swap just makes life a lot easier. So there we have it, guys. Um, hopefully this guide has helped um, sorting your bank out. If it has, let me know in the comments section if your bank looks nice, if it's helped, or you know if it's sorted out really well. Um, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.